Since the 1920s, people had been picking up mailbags from hard to reach places using an aircraft with a hook on it. And during World War II, the Allies tried to adapt it for human pickups. By 1943, they were ready for their first live tests. It did work, but there were several problems. The aircraft had to fly in very low, so you needed a wide open area without trees or obstructions. And though the system did use a crude shock absorbing device, what's fine for picking up mail would strain the limits of human endurance. In the early 1950s, adventurer and inventor Robert Fulton comes up with a new system. He thought there was a better way and he wanted to do it from the front end of the airplane. He wanted the pilots to have something to aim at rather than something that's behind them. Fulton begins experimenting in 1950, and spotting its potential, the CIA soon gives him its backing. By 1958, his aerial retrieval system, or Skyhook, takes its final shape. Skyhook comes in a package that can be dropped from an airplane. It contains the necessary ground equipment for a pickup. There is a harness attached to a high-strength nylon line. A small helium bottle inflates a balloon, raising the line to its full height, 500 feet. The pickup aircraft is fitted with two horns protruding from its nose. It flies into the line, and a trigger at the base of the horns simultaneously releases the balloon and secures the line to the aircraft. The simple geometry of the pickup means although the plane is traveling at speed, the agent is initially lifted gently and vertically off the ground, gradually accelerating as the line is pulled more horizontally until he reaches the same speed as the airplane. The line trails along the base of the plane and is caught through a hatch at the rear. It's fastened to a winch, allowing the agent to be reeled on board. It works brilliantly. And because the initial lift is vertical, pickups can be made from inside forests and even out at sea. <laughs> 